IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 219, looking at the factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis. So rate is how fast photosynthesis is occurring. And we could measure how fast that's occurring by the rate, how quickly the glucose is being produced and how quickly the oxygen is being produced. Don't confuse this with, confuse this with how much how quickly is, is what we're concerned with. So here's the equation for photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water, so these are substrate, are combined using light and to trap that we'll need some chlorophyll and then there's an enzyme system and that produces glucose and oxygen which are our products. So what I'm trying to emphasize is that this is an enzyme reaction and because of that we can re refer to our known theory on how enzymes function. Let's take carbon dioxide as the starting point. So we need an axis for our graph here. here and on this axis here we're going to increase the concentration of carbon dioxide so we could repeat the experiment at increasing concentrations of carbon dioxide and we can measure the rate of photosynthesis and if we do that we get a graph that looks like this So this suggests that as the concentration of carbon dioxide increases, the rate at which photosynthesis occurs increases up to a point here. So at this concentration of carbon dioxide, we get the maximum rate of photosynthesis. But after that, further increases in concentration of carbon dioxide do not increase the rate the rate is constant. Don't confuse this with stopped. Let's move on to light intensity and once more draw our axes. Like so. And on this axis here, we're going to repeat the experiment measuring the rate of reaction of photosynthesis. We're going to repeat it at different light intensities, perhaps measured in units of lux. And here we're going to measure the rate of photosynthesis. And the graph that we get is very similar increasing the rate and then it becomes constant. So once more we could explore for a given plant what is the light intensity at which we reach the maximum rate of reaction and once more increases in light after this the rate is constant. Moving on to temperature Put the axes in again. Oops. And then again like this. I'm <coughs> on this axis we'll have temperature and here we're going to have rate of photosynthesis. And as we increase the temperature, then we will expect to get a graph that looks like this. Notice the graph is asymmetrical and the maximum rate which corresponds to the peak of the graph here will occur at this temperature here which of course you'll know is the optimum 
temperature. Students should refer back to the videos on enzyme reactions to consider this graph and this graph once more. But we know that as we increase the temperature, the substrate molecules collide with the enzymes at a higher rate and the product is formed uh, more quickly. And then after a particular temperature, our enzymes are denaturing. So let's just remind ourselves of that denaturing. The explanation here is to do with kinetic theory, as indeed it is to do with kinetic theory and collision here. So notice that it would be possible to find the maximum rate of photosynthesis for the three different phases, carbon dioxide, light and temperature. However, when combined, the slowest rate dictates the overall rate. And this is called the limiting factor.